we headed down to the Birmingham Institute of Art and Design on Margaret Street to view students' artwork. While we were there, we came across a wide variety of expressive art, including elements of religion, science fiction, nature, and many more themes. In terms of design processes and strategies, we saw a variety of methods and techniques used to create the artwork. These methods included sculptures, waxwork, paintings, photographs, and unique structures. Here we have a unique artwork structure produced by mature student Nicholas Griffin. The idea of the structure is about the abstract view and ways it is seen from different viewing angles. Subsequently, the structure creatively folds up and can be carried around on your back. We caught up with some of the students to find out about some of the work in the gallery. So I have made a wax face, a replica of myself. And at the moment I have this lying on a coffin as a shroud. And so that's part of my work. But it stemmed from last year I made wax images of myself, my face. Uh, they were candles and I burnt them. And so that was my life that had gone. And I had a, a drawer full of clean, pristine wax, which is my life still to have. The processes are quite long-winded because, first of all, I use mod rock and make uh, a cast of my own face. Uh, then I use alginate uh, in the mod rock cast so that I can get a good representation of my face. And then I make a mould and then I have pour gel flex into it and then I paint the gel flex with molten wax. At the moment I'm working on um, lots of glass and perspex so that I can get the light travelling through when I do paint. Um, it is very abstract based on um, existence and reality and the possibility of the unknown. My work's um, actually based um, around the brain. Um, I'm not actually interested in the physical shape of the brain, I'm more interested in the void area, which is, actually leads to the subconscious. Um, so I'm kind of investigating theories from Freud. Um, my most favourite thing about my piece is um, the actual wide range of materials that I use. Um, and actually it's really an inexpensive way to do it. And certainly because of the, cli the climate at the moment, it's really a cheap way and I don't have to buy loads of paint. Um, and I think it's really experimental. Basically my work's mostly experimental. I'm, I like flowers, so I decided to base it on that and just experiment with different materials and processes and stuff. With that particular piece, I put a layer of glue onto board and painted into it and then um, hammered nails around the edge and used um, different coloured threads to weave a pattern on top. These are just a few examples of work being exhibited by undergraduates of Birmingham City University. To find out more about students' work and what goes on at Birmingham Institute of Art and Design, visit www.bcu.ac.uk forward slash biad.